our topic of discussion is blastocyst transfer. Why is blastocyst transfer preferred in IVF cycles? So first and foremost, you have to know what a blastocyst is. So when we do IVF, um, we take out the eggs from the lady, we inject the sperms into that and we keep it in the lab for culture. When we keep for culture, we do a fertilization check the next day and after that there is something called cleavage stage embryos. This is the day three embryos. And then we have uh, we culture it for two more days, that is extended culture and we see a check again on day 5. So a blastocyst is a day 5 or a day 6 embryo which has been, so it is something, it is an embryo that has been cultured for 5 to 6 days in the lab. Now, how is it helpful to do a uh, blastocyst transfer and in which patients we will do a blastocyst transfer? Now yes, blastocyst transfer is uh, supposedly a better uh, preferable in IVF cycles but again every uh, procedure has some exceptions we will not be doing there are some patients in whom we might not plan a blastocyst transfer we might plan a day 3 embryo transfer uh, so that is again individualized according to the couple their history so their age their previous treatment cycles a lot of factors go into that but in general if we are able to culture the embryo still blastocyst we prefer to do that now why uh, so, a blastocyst is an embryo that has survived the culture conditions for 5 days and has grown. So, these are basically embryos that have a better potential for implantation. Why? Because one is they might be the chromosomally normal embryos which have actually, you know, uh, been able to progress in culture till 5th day but not necessarily. But yes, it is the, the better, the best of the embryos are the ones that usually develop till a blastocyst and survive the culture conditions. So these are again embryos that have better potential at implantation, can have a better potential to give a successful pregnancy, which is why a blastocyst transfer is always preferred. What are the cons of a blastocyst transfer? Now, uh, not all embryos will progress and become a blastocyst. So when you have a day 3 check and you see that you have uh, you know, uh, many embryos which are good quality embryos, you are of course tempted to maybe freeze it or use it for transfer uh, in day 3 itself. Uh, but these same embryos when you wait and keep them in extended culture, not all will develop into a blastocyst because it is something like uh, these are embryonically you know, activated embryos which will progress up to the blastocyst stage. So some of the embryos get arrested at day 3 and uh, only the ones that progress will be available for us to transfer and if there are excess embryos we can always freeze them and keep. So the cons is that you might not have as many embryos uh, to uh, freeze, you might not have excess embryos to freeze but the potential of these embryos to give you a positive pregnancy is better than a day 3 embryo. And also at uh, when you are doing a blastocyst transfer it is there is more likelihood that the endometrium uh, uh, is uh, in sync with the embryo that is the window of implantation is uh, open at that time and the embryo can directly go and get attached so that is also one of the reasons why this can give a better pregnancy rate so which is why we prefer to do a blastocyst culture and transfer a day 5 embryos rather than day 3 embryos uh, so uh, because they have better potential at giving pregnancy uh, if you have any more queries on what a blastocyst is or you know, whether or in which patients we actually do blastocyst transfer, you can always reach out to us uh, on our website or call on the number that is given down in the description. And uh, please share this video with your friends and family and do subscribe to our channel to get more informative videos like this.